We'll guide you through how to set your RAM speed in your BIOS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So sometimes your PC may not always be using the highest speed possible for your RAM. So first of all, you just need to go and find out what this frequency is of your RAM and what it can run at. So in my case, it can run at 5,600. So just note that down, it'll be on the sort of specifications of your RAM or wherever you got, got it from. And now what we need to do is get into the BIOS. So to go and do that, you need to go and restart your computer. So let me just go and open up the start menu, click on the power button in the bottom right and go and click on restart like so. Then it'll go and restart and you need to go and wait until you go and see the boot up screen. And the button to go and open the BIOS will vary on the system. Some systems it may be delete key, some it may be F11 or F12, some may be F2, so it will vary. As you can see, I can now go and see the MSI boot screen and down at the bottom, it says I need to go and press the delete key or F11 to run the BIOS. So I press delete there and it opened up. So click it a couple of times and it should then do. Now every BIOS will look slightly different, but they've all gonna have like similar settings overall. So I've got an MSI BIOS because my motherboard's MSI. Um, and yeah, first of all, just make sure it is in advanced mode. So mine is already. And I can actually go and see in the top left, my DDR speed, and it's only 4,800 when it can run at 5,600. The location of the setting will probably be different on different motherboards, but there is a search tool in the top right for me. So you could always look for that. But in mine, it's in overclocking settings. And then we need to come down to DRAM setting and we can go and see our DRAM frequency and that it's currently set to auto at 4,800. So if I go and click on auto, then what I can do is go and see this list and I can go and find the option. As I said, my max is 5,600. So click there like so, and that's it. We've now gone and updated it. And then all you need to do is go and save this setting. So if I press on the close icon in the top right, I can then go and save the configuration and exit and then your PC will go and restart into Windows. Now here we are back on Windows and I just opened my task manager and came to memory. And as you can see, it's number 5,600. 